Hey everybody, Fetty here, and I just wanted to do a real quick video and kind of give you an update on my progress of purting up this barn. Originally, I thought I was going to put some vinyl siding on this thing, but I came up on a product at Lowe's that I really liked, and I decided that I'm going to go with it. And time will tell how it holds up, but I'm pretty excited about this stuff. It's a composite material that looks like old knotty barn wood. It has random patterns in it. And it looks, it really looks like old, old naughty barn wood. It's got some kind of, you know, composite backing. I guess this is some kind of cardboard or, or paper or something. I don't really know. It's not, it's not wood. And the front has some kind of coating on it. It's not, not plastic, but it's, it's a real hard coating. So I think it's going to be really durable. The stuff got really good reviews. So I decided to get it. I had a house once that had that old T111 on it. And I just couldn't keep the woodpeckers off of it. And hopefully the woodpeckers won't bother this stuff. Putting this stuff up is about like putting up sheeting, but it's not quite as forgiving as putting up sheeting. This stuff has lap joints in it. See that? Right there. And you know, when you, when you put those joints together, you got to make sure that you're running square and plumb all the way down or your joints are going to start creeping out on you and you're going to end up all hinky down at the end. So spend a little bit of time on the front end. That's what I've done and, and hopefully that'll save you some aggravation as you go. Now the way that I'm tackling this is I'm dry fitting every piece before I you know actually nail it down. Now there's a skirt board on the bottom of this barn and I'm using that as kind of a guide or a starting point on putting this stuff up but I'm coming in and shimming it up. So when you get a piece up, you want to make sure that you're, you're really square and level and all that kind of stuff. I'm coming in here and I'm taking my level and I'm laying it up there on that seam, making sure I'm running, running straight, running level. And I'm coming in here, make sure I'm good and square. Then at that point, I know that I'm, I'm really good, really square, really level. I'm pulling the sheet back off and going to the next step. Now for the next step, obviously I'm concerned about water getting in those seams. So what I'm doing is I'm coming into these seams with a little bead of caulk and caulking that thing up. That way, when I lay the, the next panel on, it'll seal that seam up and there shouldn't be any reason water gets in there. So I do that, lay the next panel up, you know, check check my level and my square and plumb and all that stuff one more time, and then nail it off. Now I'm nailing this with my pass load. I, there's maybe a better way to do it, but I'm hitting it with the pass load with some ring shank nails just like you put sheeting up. If you make sure you, you, you nail real good and straight, well, it'll knock a hole in it, but it won't blow it out, and there'll just be a little bit of, you know, a little hole right there that you'll have to deal with. Now what I'm doing with those, is I'm coming back in with some caulk and I'm filling those holes up. Now once I get it up and nailed off, I'm going back to where those seams are right here. And I'm just putting a little more caulk in there just to, you know, just to make sure that it fills that seam up. Now you have to paint this stuff. It's, it's not primed and it's kind of a shame because that's a pretty cool color right there and I think that'd be, <laughs> be pretty neat. But you gotta paint it. So, you know, by the time you caulk everything up and paint it, water ought to be, you know, not an issue. Now I picked out a paint color, it's like an old weathered gray. And, and the effect that I'm going for is like an old weathered barn. I don't know once I get it all painted how it's gonna turn out. It might just look like a, a brand new gray pole barn. But anyway, that's the effect I'm going for. And I'll, I'll show you here in just a minute. I've got a couple of those panels painted and you can kind of see what it looks like. Now obviously I'm gonna have a seam when I put the next run of this paneling on and, and now this stuff's pretty heavy it's heavier than a sheet of osb so you know thinking about how i'm going to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay another little bead of caulk on that where that seam is bring my piece up and set it down on it and get it lined up and that's another reason i've spent a lot of time making sure i'm running straight and square and level and plumb because spending the time down here on the bottom ought to save me some of the aggravation and scariness of being up there high with these big heavy panels. Now once I get them, get them on up there, I'll go back and fill that seam up again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a banding board, maybe, I don't know, maybe a three inch wide 
trim board and cover that seam up and that way you'll never see it and it'll kind of look like it's supposed to be there so i think that's going to look pretty cool so let me take you around back and i'll show you those pieces i've already got painted so you can check those out so there's some of the, the pieces that i've got painted now this stuff soaks up a lot of paint so you know kind of keep that in mind but in this afternoon sunlight it, it kind of gives that gray a blue tint but it really does when you're up on it it kind of gives it that old that old weathered kind of look so so far i'm pretty pleased with it but if it turns out just to be a gray barn well that's okay too i know this was a pretty quick video by my standards anyway but really wasn't meant to be a how-to i just wanted to show you a product that i'm using on my barn and hopefully you know give you some of your own ideas as always if you enjoy my videos remember give me a thumbs up leave me some comments and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching give you an update on it it's one of these now now when you go to now for the next step obviously now for the next step obviously I'm a little, little concerned about you know I'm, I'm I don't know if this is going to show up on the video so I know this was a pretty quick video. As always, if you enjoy my videos,